We're now calling this a Glastonbury special because uh, Hugh's on from Glastonbury all weekend, Saturday and Sunday, one to four with Alice Levine. Yes. So are you ready for a special, Glastonbury special, Innuendo Bingo special? Let's yes. do this. It's time to witness the wetness. This is Innuendo Bingo. I like it. I like the cow sound effect. Thank you. Uh, cows have been moved, by the way. What? what? Well, they, oh, they're off the site now. The cows are off. Yeah, because oh. well, they, they all go into hiding, don't they, when the festival's on? So well, that's... Well, they don't like a Dow, is that what it is? Mm. <laughs> so they have their own little mini festival somewhere then. Is yeah. that what goes Even on? Even cows love a Dow. They listen to moos. Yeah, moves. <laughs> oh no, we'll get them all in now. <laughs> oh no. Okay, so can I use a quick question before we start? Can yes. I use my umbrella. But how how logistically are you thinking of making this work? Because if you open it up, one that's unlucky, and then two, are you just going to put it in front of me? I'm going to go like this. But then that does nothing. I don't think it's necessary here because it's not. It's like it's above your head, and the water's going to spray on your face. All right, I'll leave it. So See absolutely I mean? pointless there. Okay. Okay, are we ready, lads? Yeah. Yep. It's going to be a good one today. Loads of good new clips as well. Remember, send them in to scott.mails at bbc.co.uk. We always need your in your in a bingo email, so thank you if you've sent these in. Okay, your waters, please, in your mouths. <laughs> Firstly, we're going over to Saturday Kitchen on BBC Two, this time with Rick Stein. I'm not too familiar myself with 17th century food writers, but uh, what... <laughs> We're back. Mm. <laughs> this is a motto I think that I can definitely live by. What more can I say about a bread and butter pudding than to quote a Frenchman who in the 17th century wrote, Ah, what an excellent thing is the English pudding. To come in pudding time is as much to say as to come in the most lucky moment in the world. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a good motto. I think I'm probably have to write it down, though. To come in pudding time is as much to say as to come in the most lucky moment in the world. Thank you, Emma, for sending that one in to us. If I repeated that one, because it is a lovely motto, isn't that. it? It's and lovely, it, and beautiful. If I actually. repeated it, you don't want to, to, you know, model things up. No, definitely one to write down. Now for some more cooking on Sunday brunch. It's Channel Four. Lots of water, please. Here, as much as you can fit in. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Now, I've been on that show. It goes on for absolutely hours. Sometimes it's kind of easy to forget that you're on live TV. And I think that um, live guest Denise Van Outen has also forgotten. Denise and Kevin are with us uh, also. Do you, do you like cool. cheese, both of you? Oh, love cheese. You've lucked out. We've just discovered that uh, cheese is one of our favourite things. Yeah, right? absolutely love cheese. Oh, do you have a favourite? Um, well, I like a black bomber cheese, but that isn't here, which is, mm. a, I like a really good, I like it hard oh. and whiffy. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> oh, excellent clip there from <laughs> Natasha. Thank you, Natasha. Denise, Denise Van Outen there. I like it hard and whiffy. <laughs> <laughs> what was that from? Sunday brunch. Right. Talking about cheese. I like it hard and whiffy. What's a please? <laughs> now we're going over to this morning with Philip and Holly on ITV. You, you will need to reload your waters for this one, lads. Mm -hmm. They cover so many different subjects on that show. And as you can hear, there really is an expert for everything these days. So that's for bigger things. Um, is there a time of year when you prune? June. June if possible. Now. Yeah. Um, these guys, just to get off most of the hairy kind of fuzz on your balls. Yeah. You want to get as much off that as possible <laughs> with these guys. Water. So they're just like, what do you call those? Uh, they are shears. Hand shears. Hand shears. Yeah, hand shears. But these are your like weapon, those. these are your weapon of choice. Wow. These are fab. So you get these and you can get some really good little bits. Yeah. So if you've got really fuzzy balls or a great big bush, you can get in there and give it a really good trim. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty wet there. That was, of course, a hedge trimming expert talking to Holly Willoughby on this morning. So if you've got really fuzzy balls or a great big bush, you can get in there and give it a really good trim. Practical advice. I, I, no, what? I'm not going to I've just got questions. Who has fuzzy balls in their back That's garden? What I, mean. What, I, mean, I don't what know. What is that? I that... didn't see the episode. I, yeah. Now on In You and a Bingo with Hugh Stevens, we're going to Troop in the, troop in the Colour on BBC One. <laughs> oh, right. 
I, mi- I missed the Troop in the Colour, but it's been in my uh, calendar, undeletable, for years. It's mm. always in there. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. What, in your, in your diary, in your phone? Yeah, it's like Troop in the Colour. I thought I had nothing on this weekend, but there's Troop in the Colour. Yeah, actually, our mind comes up with that as well. Yeah, like certain battles oh, as yeah. well. Yeah, thanks for that. Troop in the Colour on BBC One. Now, I know, I know people all over the country have been celebrating the Queen's 90th birthday in very different ways. But I have to say, Commanding Officer Major Robert Skeggs. (laughs) 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 Oof. Commanding Officer Major Robert Skeggs, water please. I need a wee. (laughs) Don't do it now. Commanding Officer Major Robert Skeggs has really taken the celebrating to the next level. Commanding Officer Major Robert Skeggs, once again riding Lucy Glitters, who's a real old pro. She's done the last six Queen's birthday parades. (laughs) Riding Lucy Glitters there, uh, one of the finest horses at this year's Trooping of the Colour. Commanding Officer Major Robert Skeggs, once again riding Lucy Glitters, who's a real old pro. She's done the last six Queen's birthday parades. (laughs) Water, please. (laughs) I'm enjoying this. She's an old pro. (laughs) The old class. Lucy Glitters. Now, <laughs> we're going to Channel 4's <laughs> Goggle Box. Mm. And we're in the living room of the Michaels family. I'm so pleased the cameras were on to capture this ultimate romantic gesture. I really appreciate it. You were so... absolutely fantastic. Yeah, you were really thoughtful. I was. And really patient. I was. And really kind. I was. Yeah, you really pulled out the stops. I was well impressed. I did. Yeah. yeah. 30 years I've had of you giving me pearls of wisdom. And now you've actually given me a real pearl necklace. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Hang on, who are they? Which ones are they? The Michael family. Which ones are the Michael family? Yeah, I can't remember. And now you've actually given me a real pearl necklace. <laughs> it's so, so good. good. <laughs> I love Goggle Box, I recognise yeah. them. Yeah, yeah you'd it? recognise them, wouldn't you? I'm sure I'd recognise him if I saw him. Probably, just, I yeah. don't know who the Michaels are. Mm. Water, please. Yeah. Miguel's. Thank you to Emma for sending that one in, by the way. Scott.mills at bbc.co.uk. If you've got any innuendo mango clips, we can't make this without you. Next, it's our very own Hugh Stevens on BBC Radio 1. Talking about Pete Tong's show. Now, as you know, Hugh, Pete is so respected in the world of dance music. <laughs> Hang on, yeah. yeah. What's this? Yeah. Yeah. Water, please. Oh, God, right. Okay, okay. This was totally unintentional because I don't know what this is about. Mm. It's, um, it's Pete Tong and, mm. and the world's biggest dance acts. They will talk to Pete Tong about absolutely anything. It's very relaxed. Tonight, if you're a huge Daft Punk fan, make sure you're listening to Pete Tong. He's on from 9 o'clock on Radio 1 every Friday. Part two of the big Daft Punk interview. And tonight they're talking about their helmets. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That would have happened. That would have happened. Yeah. (laughs) That's a while ago, that one. Yeah, I'm absolutely about to listen. And tonight they're talking about their helmets. Now we're going over to This Farming Life on BBC Two. Water, please. Mm -hmm. More of the Glastonbury theme here. (laughs) Remember, the cows have been moved. (laughs) Martin is here preparing for the big show. But well, I tell you, with an attitude like this, he won't be winning anything. What we've got here is just young stocks. We're never really going to win a championship because they're young. If we're in the top half of our class, we'll be happy with that. Unlike John, Martin doesn't have high expectations for his bulls. <laughs> he needs to change his attitude. Unlike John... Martin doesn't have high expectations for his balls. <laughs> <laughs> and your final one today on Hugh Stevens Innuendo Bingo. It's BBC Radio 2 with Jeremy Vine. 
Got your waters there? Mm -hmm. I'm, fa I'm fascinated by uh, today's talking topic on Jeremy's show. Alan Brunigius. Brunigius, I think, probably. Hornchurch, good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> How's your crack? Uh, it's big. <laughs> right. <laughs> What a question. The first question you asked the callers. How's your crack? Uh, it's big. Right. <laughs> and that was today's In Your Bingo. And what a fantastic load of new clips. Thank you, Hugh. Uh, thank oh, he's you talking. Hang on. This, this is Innuendo Bingo. I've played Hugh. Remember, one till four, Saturday and Sunday, Alice Savine and Hugh Stevens from Glastonbury. Thank you, Hugh.